Hey, how's it going? <laughs> yeah, you're doing good. <laughs> That's good to hear. Um, would you mind if I talk to you for a second? Um, I need a I need to have a conversation with somebody right now because I don't know what's going on. Um, I I'm at home. I'm at home right now. Um. Is that you? <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> All right, give me a second. <laughs> you came over as soon as I said there was a problem. <laughs> I love you so much. You know that you are the best friend I could have asked for. But you didn't have to come all this way. We could have just done this over the phone. Okay. Okay, okay. Well, I guess I'll just explain what's been happening. I guess that you want anything to drink. Personally, I'm going to have wine because it's going to be one of those conversations. <sighs> okay. Um, a couple of days ago, I had my very first panic attack. And I know I didn't tell you, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I tell you everything, and I didn't tell you about this. I feel like I betrayed our friendship or something. But I didn't tell you because I just feel like life is stressful enough as it is, and I didn't want to, I didn't, I didn't want to pour or dump my problems onto you in case you're going through something in your own life. So that that's one of the main reasons why I didn't tell you. And the second reason why I didn't tell you is because you know me to be a very proud person. I keep a lot of things to myself, a lot of negative things to myself, and I think all those years of just bottling everything up is finally catching up to me. And I feel scared. I feel scared. Um so basically i had my first panic attack when i was at home um and i i had never had a panic attack before in my entire life um that's the key takeaway from this i never had a panic attack in my entire life but how i knew it was a panic attack was that i had a shortness of breath and i just started crying directly after and i couldn't breathe that never happens. So immediately I knew something was wrong. But I tried my best to brush it aside and just be like, oh, well, maybe it's something I ate. But <laughs> let's face it, <laughs> I don't think anything you eat brings you down to your knees like that in such an emotional state. So I just thought nothing of it and I carried on with my day. Or tried to carry on with my day at least. Um, and uh, everything was fine, I guess, for that day after the panic attack, or what I assumed to be was a panic attack. And then the day after, on my day to work, uh, while I was driving, I. Oh, God. Um, I, I was driving and I just couldn't breathe again like I had shortness of breath and I knew exactly what was happening it came out of nowhere I didn't even know how to react um and I just pulled over on the side of the road and I just started crying uncontrollably like <laughs> not I wasn't even trying to force out a cry it just it just all came out on my way to work so uh, once that panic attack was over and done with, I just called, I called my workplace and I told them I can't come in today. And thankfully they said it's okay that I didn't come into work because there wasn't much that needed to be doing anyway. Um, but <sighs> I just went home after that and I've been thinking about those two panic attacks ever since. And I don't know what the problem is. 
so I decided to call you because you are my best friend and I feel like you know me better than I know myself at this point. And <laughs> I just, I'm just, uh, I, I don't know what I'm looking for right now. I don't know what I need. It's not like I can take a vacation or a holiday to go and collect my thoughts because I have responsibilities like everybody else. And it just feels like if I do do that, I'm burdening myself. <laughs> Thank you so much for believing that I'm a strong person. Like, that, that really means a lot. But even though you say I'm a strong person, I still... <laughs> feel like crap. And I don't know what to do about it. I'm scared that it's going to happen again. Like, when I'm either at work, or if I'm in a public environment and I'm not going to know how to react. I just need a breather from everything, from life, from... I need a vacation, I think. If a vacation is going to solve all of my problems, which it won't. But I just need to remember to breathe, I feel like. And I don't really know how to do that. I've never been in this situation before. Thank you. I, I, but I don't know. That's the thing. I don't know what it could be. It's just... Uh, it's just, you know... <clears throat> I need another glass of wine. That's what I think I need. No, you're right, I shouldn't be drinking more than two glasses already, otherwise that's going to be a bit much, but, um... Maybe I need therapy. Because if I've bottled up so many things over the years without telling a lot of people I'm struggling emotionally and mentally i feel like this is life telling me that i can't be doing that anymore i feel like life is telling me i can't just be bottling up my emotions and keeping it to myself like i need to tell people and that's one of my biggest insecurities i feel like telling people my vulnerabilities if that makes sense I I don't know, I just, I mean, I know a lot of people that, that they're okay telling everybody all of their business, but I just, I don't think I've ever been that kind of person, and I, I don't even know where to start, like whenever something bad happens in my life, I keep it to myself. I keep it to myself and I I just because I believe in like the whole, you know, cliche time heals all wounds, which is kind of true. But at the same time, if you're not going to tell anyone your problems and you you are the only one who's going to be your if you're going to be your own therapist, it kind of that's kind of dangerous. Now that I've, the more that I think about it, because if you have no one to talk to, well then you're just going to go insane. Like, how I'm going insane right now, I feel like. So, that's everything I've been going through. Um, I'm just glad I had somebody in my life, such as yourself, a friend such as yourself who would be willing to drive all the way over to my apartment just to listen to me vent. <laughs> it, it, it truly means a lot to me. Um, 
uh, I mean, it's already late. You can stay, you can spend the night if you want. I I honestly don't mind. No, no, it's okay. You can you can take the bedroom and I'll sleep on the couch. That's totally fine by me. I'm just glad you're here. It hasn't been the easiest time for me. Uh and I just didn't know who to turn to apart from yourself. So thank you. I I don't deserve friends like you at all. But I'm going to go to bed because maybe that's going to uh, to help me. I guess or to relax me after these two glasses of wine. <laughs> but I really appreciate you for sticking around and thank you.